Welcome to Praxy Best Practices. I'm Soren Kaplan, co-founder of Praxy.com. An audit checklist allows you to look at a specific, usually it's a business process, and understand how it's going and if any corrective action needs to be taken to fix it or to make it better. You can look at different types of data in your checklist. So ideally, if you can quantify something, whether perhaps it's in like a manufacturing process, you can quantify it and actually measure it quantifiably to know is it in compliance or out of compliance, for example. Or you might need to have more of a qualitative measure like observing something to understand it better. So either way, you can list off the different items you want to audit you can look at how you're going to audit those. Is it observation or measurement? And then you can look at the result of that. What you're able to do with an audit checklist is you're able to look at the different items you want to explore and then determine which are in compliance, which are out of compliance, and then define corrective actions for those. You can even quantify them. You, you can list out, here's the number that we're in compliance. Here's the number that we're out of compliance. Here's how many things we observed and you can actually quantify that and create what's known as an audit yield percentage. So you can get pretty advanced with this stuff, but really the goal of any audit checklist is to look at a specific system process, understand it better, identify areas that could be fixed or made better, and then create a project plan to make things better with whatever you're looking at. That's the power of an audit checklist. For more best practice templates and applications, visit Praxy.com.